Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to make bacon in the oven without all of the mess, okay? That's the number one complaint when bacon is cooked in the oven is the grease splatter that gets everywhere, right? It's at the top, the sides, the bottom of the oven, the front of it, it's just a mess. And I don't know about you, but I don't like cleaning that up. I mean, it's just a pain. So today's recipe, I'm gonna show you how to eliminate that and your bacon is gonna turn out nice and flat when you cook it this way. It'll be evenly cooked and it'll be as crispy as you like it. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you all the details on how to do it right after this. Let's start off with our chef joke. We'll have another one a little bit later. All right, so what do you get when you cross a pig and a centipede? Bacon and legs. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the equipment that we wanna to use to make our bacon in the oven or at least I'll call it equipment. All right, you need a baking sheet with a lip. That's really important. So you want a, a lip like this, at least an inch, so that way it contains the grease. Otherwise, if you have one of those flat baking sheets, it's gonna be all over your oven. So you need that. We're gonna use a piece of foil. We're gonna place that in the bottom of our baking sheet, and that's just gonna make for some easy cleanup, which we all love, right? And then the most important part is some parchment paper. You really need to use parchment paper. I haven't tried using foil on the top. I've only used parchment paper and I know it works. And you wanna cut your piece so that it fits in the bottom, you know, it fits on the, in the pan right inside of the lip. Now, here's one thing you do not wanna use when you're cooking bacon in the oven, and that is a rack. A lot of people will take their rack, place it in the baking sheet, and think that's wonderful, the grease is gonna drip away and it's gonna be all, you know, great. Well, I tried it once, never again. What happens is, is the bacon sticks to the pan and you get bacon pieces all in the little grooves here and it is one major pain to clean. So, don't use a rack. And also, when you cook the bacon in the pan, on the bottom of the pan, like I'm gonna show you, it's cooking in its own grease that it renders out just like as if you're cooking it in the pan on the stove. So it just cooks evenly and cooks better. So I've got the foil in the pan and now you just take your bacon. Now remember that there's different thicknesses of bacon, right? This happens to be a little bit thicker and that's just gonna change the cooking time compared to a thin piece. You wanna lay this in the pan so that they don't touch each other. I'm only gonna cook five pieces so I have plenty of room here. If they touch each other, they will stick together. So I try to avoid that. So you just wanna lay it in there. If you have to cut the pieces, you can do that as well, but just lay it in flat like that. Now I wanna mention that cooking bacon in the oven like this is really good for like, if you're cooking bacon for at least two people, if you're gonna cook bacon for just yourself and you're gonna cook two pieces or three maybe, you might as well do that on the stove in a frying pan. And I have a video that shows you how to do that really well. So I'll leave a link for you in the bottom uh, below this video. So I'm gonna place the parchment paper on the top and just kind of like push it down so it kind of sticks a little bit. This is gonna go in the oven. You do not have to preheat your oven. Mine, I'm just gonna turn it on right now at 350 degrees and it'll heat up slowly. It'll cook your bacon. The, it actually works out a little bit better because the, the fat renders out nice and slow and it just seems to work well. And we're gonna check it in 15 minutes. So it's gonna cook somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes. So I'm gonna place this near the bottom, not the very bottom rack, but one up from the bottom. I wanna mention another advantage to cooking your bacon in the oven, and that is it's pretty much hands off. Once I put it in the oven, it's pretty much, you don't have to tend to it, you just let it go. Now we may turn it over one time at about 15 minutes, we'll see. We'll just see where we're at. But that's what I like about it as well. It's just so hands off. All right, so now let's get into chef joke number two. All right, here we go. Knock, knock. Who's there? Bacon. Bacon who? Bacon and cake for your birthday. All right, we're gonna have a look at the bacon after 15 minutes. Now remember, this is thicker. You can see it's cooking away here in its juices. Pull this back, it's nice to go. And see, it's gonna stick a little bit to my paper. But, um, and we could turn it over here if we wanted to, but it's cooking nicely. There is no splatter in my oven, which I love but we really don't even need to turn it over. So I'm not gonna turn the rest over and I'm gonna let this go another probably five minutes. So here's our bacon right out of the oven. This took, because it's thick bacon, took quite a bit longer than my thin bacon when I cooked that the other day. All right, let's have a look here. Now be careful, there's a lot of grease in this pan. So when you take it out of the oven, you don't wanna spill it. 
This paper is very, very uh, greasy as well, so be careful when you're handling that. I'm gonna just put it right in my garbage. See how nice and stiff it is? That means it's gonna be nice and crunchy. Now I cooked this for about 30 minutes. So here's our bacon. It's nice and flat, evenly cooked, and crispy throughout. And it tastes so good. Now, as far as all this baking grease goes, you wanna be careful, like I said with it, just let it cool, it will harden up, and then all you gotta do is peel this foil up, make a little ball, throw it in your garbage can. That's all you have to do, and then the pan will may be a little bit greasy, but it's a real easy, quick cleanup. So cooking bacon in the oven is the way to go, at least that's how I feel about it. I love it, less cleanup, no mess, no fuss, it's great. If you'd like to try another bacon recipe from me, I've got a link for you right over here for my bacon wrapped shrimp with some avocado. It is delicious. You really should try it and let me know what you think. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, smash the old like button for me, and leave me a comment. All right, we'll see you next week.